15 violations in 30 days. Sir. Shut up. Warrantless surveillance, illegal wiretapping, and the slew, the slew of the mountain of complaints against the racial profiling you've been doing. Sir, I must protest that I monitor all immigrants evenly. Enough. This is why we don't let you carry a badge. Oh, not to worry, sir. I made my own. Look. Ollie, if you do so much as step one foot out of the limited jurisdiction you already have under the banner of this agency, then so help me God, I will tear that badge off your Primark shirt and use it to scrape up your asses! Now get out. I got you, sir. No badges. Time to do some undercover work. I got one of those horrible cravings from my soup. Right? So I went to the store to get one, and those cheap bastards were working there. What? Chinese. Sophie, they are Chinese working at a Japanese restaurant. The horror! I know! Like, think about it, it's a blatant theft of culture, isn't it? It's not like the full eyes. I knew I had to do something about it. I, I came here as fast as I could, Sophie. The internet must know. Jeremy? Did I ever tell you what my favourite way to kill people is? Well, the way it works is I use the special nail polish. <laughs> It's made from an extract of the puffer fish's liver. A pin-sized amount is enough to kill a man. But I have my formula perfect. Will last exactly three hours. Once I've done that, wow. Well, skin, inch by inch. But I'm not going to do that today, Jeremy. I am going to spend the next three hours taking a bubble bath, reading a cheesy romance novel, and attempting to forget that you and I share the same number of chromosomes much less a strand of DNA, okay?
We have a gig. Another bar mitzvah. No, a, oh, um, a wedding. I love weddings. No, man, a special event. Ah. Wait. It isn't another orgy, is it? Because the last time we did that, Kenny, I'm not. It's really awkward. The way all those people were touching me. It's a hit. Well, I don't really equate all touching with hitting. It was nonetheless uncalled for. An assassination, you moron! We've been hired to kill this girl. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. She looks really funny, Kenny. Hmm. It may be before we, uh... You know, I can, uh, lay on the charm. You planning on flirting with the hit? Well, it's just that in this job, this job in particular, I, I don't really get many chances to meet women. Do not flirt with the hit jets. It's the jets now. What? Well, I thought about adding a, a, a V in front of my name. It might give it an extra cool factor. Like the Hulk or, or the Rock. What do you think? I think you might actually be retarded. Let's get ready. You wouldn't believe how sick I was this morning, guys. I mean, I must have eaten something fierce because I was dropping some like mad telephone poles. Okay, yeah, like, Madonna meat looks grand and usual. But where does that shit like ever look? Guys? Hmm. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, draw! Through the door. You know, it's actually a lot harder to break into a child's toy chest. Why are you here? Picking you up for work. Well, it's the safety on this thing. If it was, it never will be again. Absolutely nothing that you have that will make me anything other than nauseous. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
gotcha clip. That one in the chamber. <laughs> yeah, you're not as stupid as you look. You have 15 minutes. And if I don't come with you in 15 minutes? entirely clear on that. Back when we used to live together, we'd always have this brand new harebrain get rich quick scheme every week. Good for work? I think so. He's been good for money for as long as I've known him anyway. What did you used to do? Um I was a personal chef. Hmm. Came with a lot of strings attached. Strings? Like, what kind of string? Ugh. Can I get another one of these? Sure, right bye. Dopey associates he uh, associates with. All right, the Jets. Get the tickets ready. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is why we're not allowed in the park anymore. Sorry, Kenny. Yes, and I, I was following you to, to, to tell you. Lovely couple. It's your lucky day. We're giving away a free magic show. Magic. For one night only. Only. And we have two tickets just for you. Four. One for you and for you. Ooh, what a cute couple you make. Damn. Do you want to maybe go to this thing tonight with me on a, 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 a... Date? Yeah. Show starts at 8 p.m. sharp. Address is on the back of the ticket, and uh, don't be late. Oh, and um, no mobile phones. Disturbs the show and whatnot. What's going on? I think I have a date. It's nice. Plans to infiltrate the target seem to have worked rather too well. 
We'll utilize this incident to extract valuable information in a casual setting. Also, get better shirt. Oh, well, I see you two have finally decided to show up. Hi, David. You ditched me today. Didn't know we had plans. You forgot about me. This is literally the first time hearing of this. What the hell, bro? I bought you beer. Then you drank it. Well, excuse me, Mr. Marley and Mrs. Ro... Roja. Roja. Ha. Like an H. Oh, yeah, Spanish. Well, Mr. Marley and Mrs. Ro... Ha. You arseholes abandoned me today. Eh? And for what? A nice pair of titties that promises she's totally gonna meet you at some sushi restaurant. Oh, but when you text her, she suddenly finds herself with a familiar case of amnesia. Oh, but I swear with me tomorrow. Yeah, I swear with me tomorrow. Because that's the lame ass excuse every woman gives to why she can't ditch her trout of a friend. Oh, but what if someone rapes Cassie, eh? What if someone rapes Cassie? No one's gonna rape Cassie. Cassie looks like my stepdad after he graduated from crack to meth. Lucky has a date. Oh, you fucking idiot. Give me a gift. You fucking bitch. Not me. <laughs> Jesus. You whore. I never said no to anyone. I miss my old job. God, I know. You were so good at making cheese fries. Ernesto just doesn't know how to heat the oil right. Cameron and his freaky-ass manservant. Yeah, black. He's pretty weird, but you're weird, too. I'm surprised you guys don't get along better. Yes. I'm sure under that rough exterior of a murderer is someone wanting to be my best friend and give me a basket of muffins. Always pretending to be above it all. Did you forget about the guy you shot at the party? No. That, that guy had... You know what? I don't need to justify myself to someone who takes off their clothes from us. Exactly. Above it all, the most uppity strip club cook you'll ever meet. The term is chef. A job that I like doing, by the way. Now I have no idea what my job even is. Doubt I'll be sending the IRS my W-2 form this year. So, you wanna hang out later? You have a date? Who? Please do not get all judgy on me, all right? Trevor. Oh, God! That Trevor, that fucking white and a pill bobbing dancer! Why do you have to be like that about people? God, because he's a fucking no. dick! He's a fucking dick! Everybody's a fucking dick then! No, well, you know what? You just love them! You just love dicks and dick bags and assholes! Yeah, I do love and dicks! Why do you think I'm a stripper? Oh my God! What? Jesus Christ! This is, this is when you always get like this. You don't, no, I don't! He's a good boyfriend, no, okay? No, no, you no. know he He's a good boy! Ah! Means ah. right now! Ah! Dumb bitch! This is ridiculous. Where are you taking me? To work. We're taking the scenic route. It relaxes me. I, I have legs. You know, I, I can use them. Hmm. Well, considering how pudgy they are and how quickly you were moving them, I'm sincerely beginning to doubt it. <sighs> Listen. You think just because some rich guy gives you a gun and sends you on some obviously tiny penis-induced power trip, you could do whatever the fuck you want? You're not as scary as you think you are. <laughs> no, I haven't even begun to scare you yet. In fact, if you're feeling so brave, why don't you just stay here, hmm? Or even run back to your little friend, uh, Candy, was it? <laughs> she seems nice.
mind feed dogs. You know, usually when people don't answer their knocks, it means not to come in. Or it means nobody's in there and you can safely steal their stuff. <clears throat> um, sorry about how all that went down. I think when I was explaining it to David, I, I might have given across the wrong impression a bit. It, it wasn't meant to sound like, like, um, like a thing, you know. anything i swear oh oh i swear so on your on your mother's grave yes or, or in the lord's name both do you know what it's irrelevant would you like to know why because your innocence bores me so let's play a game let's play pretensies please no please i swear Let's pretend that you opened your big mouth and I was sent here to close it. No, please, I'll do no. anything, no. please. No. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So quick with the draw there, hmm? You're sick! <laughs> no. I'm creative. Now, that, my girl, is what you're going to beg me for. If I catch you running away or having a little chat with the police. Now, in this situation, I usually threaten some violent fate upon your family, but I am surprised to find that you have no one. <laughs> How sad. But it's okay, really. <laughs> no one left to miss you once I'm done with you. Now, my girl. You're going to learn to beg. Beg me for your sad, pathetic little life. 
Go fuck yourself! What the fuck are you two doing out here? Look. Why don't you go inside and make me a drink? Put some ice on it. You, you're not fucking listening, huh? Still not fucking paying attention. I guess I'm gonna have to teach you a little lesson. Jack, I know you've always looked up to me. And as your mentor, I feel like I should give you some advice. Stop being such a fucking pussy. Do you know what girls like? Do you know what they don't like? <laughs> Dude, I try and help you out the best I can. I mean, do you remember that stuff I showed you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on some kind of watch list now? Yeah, well that stuff works. But you know, you, you can't rely on good old David forever. I know I'm the closest thing you've had to a father. My dad and I are great. I talked to him yesterday. And like every son, you want to be just like me. But you can't. Because I'm fucking David. But you can be second best. First you've got to go through what my dad did to me, and that's to tell you everything that's wrong with you. I really don't. I, I do this from love. But dude, what the fuck is with that shirt? You're not at a funeral or anything. Your hair, it's retarded as balls. What's with that smell you've always got? I don't know, David, I shower. Yeah, man, none of that bullshit. You gotta, uh, your natural pheromones run free. Your choice of beer is terrible. You bought this! Man, your accent's an idiot. You write crossbreds in with a pencil. You done? Yeah, think so. You gotta say something for your wedding. <laughs> okay. David. Yeah. I am not taking any of your advice. Ever! For any reason! But I'm fucking David! Oh, fucking David! Your last girlfriend tried to kill you! Let's not start getting into that, no, yeah. no. Yeah, let's no. start getting into that. Your last girlfriend set your car, your house, and your favorite pub on fire. On fire! You are literally the last person I am ever going to turn to for relationship advice, okay? Yeah? Well, I guess you should have thought of that before then, Ja. I'm gonna pee my pants. Sit, dear, sit. We have quite a show for you. Hello. I'm Ollie. Lucky. Oh, uh, honey. Got this for you? 
Why is there no one else here? No idea. So, Lucky, your accent is very foreign. Exactly how and when did you come into this country? Um, October 1st, and I swam. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Ladies and gentlemen, our performance is about to begin. We ask you to remain seated at all times, because tonight is going to get a little bit. So, how long and how often would you say you came to the United Kingdom? You don't like scotch? I know what it is. You're still thinking about what happened outside, right? All right, how do I explain this to you? That girl, see, she was a talker. It's not a thing I like to do. You understand, but when people talk, things they, they get complicated. You know? See, but that's why I like you. You're a nice girl, a nice, quiet girl. And quiet girls, they're good listeners. And listening, that's a characteristic that I find invaluable. Listening is one of the things I like best about you. <laughs> what, you got a gun in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? That's what I like about you. You're always ready. Yeah, I really like it. Fuck, I love it. I love that about you. I love it almost as much as I love teaching deserving assholes valuable life lessons. For example, see, when I tell this son of a bitch to listen, what I really mean is to listen to everything and anything I fucking say. That's for you. Cheers. Now for our next illusion, we're going to need somebody from the audience, a volunteer. Here. Don't be shy. There we go. Now, this helpful young man will uh, disappear before your very eyes. In the box. Um, if I. I oh, see, I finally got your balls back. Yeah. Well? Well, what? You're not going to invite me? Invite you? Oh, I get it. You're going to go and punch this guy in the face with your dick. But we are bros and you don't ditch bros twice in one day. No. Sit. Stay. I know where you live, Jack. Here. When I say the magic words, piff, puff, puff, our helpful young friend here will disappear before your very eyes. Piff, puff, puff. Perfect! Jets! My knives! Hmm. Lady 
Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure and a privilege to have been your hosts this evening. But uh, before we part one another, myself and my associate wish to present you one final performance, a capstone, to send you off into that sweet good night. For myself and my associate, the Jets, we wish to end the night by raping you. What? No! Damn it, man! We talked about this! We're going to rob you. No! And then rape you. For God's sake, man! There's no rape, my lady. <laughs> After we, uh. No. Once we kill her, maybe then we can. Do I even know you? Jet, what part of this are you not getting? Uh, well, uh, I suppose most of it, really. We were in such a rush before we came, and, well, you know, sometimes I get into these dazes. Do you even know what the purpose of tonight was? To do something to the girl, um, and her friend? We're going to kill them! We are going to take those knives and throw them at the girl and her associate. Uh, and we're going to make them dead, bereft of life! Kenny, Kenny! What?! Girl has gone. Actually, it was the best date I've been on in like three years. It might be the only date I've been on in like three years. Oh. Uh, well, maybe if you try dating someone a bit taller, a bit more handsome, dashing, Irish. Are you asking me out, Jack? Honestly, sir, I was here. I was undercover with the foreign girl, and there were two strange magicians, and uh, they locked me in the box, and when I came out of the box, she was gone, and they were dead. I swear to you, there was one there, and there was one there, and... What? 